Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing my Halloween home decor tour for 2022. If you are new, hi, my name is Dawn. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and thank you guys for being patient for this video. It took me a while to get it out. I found a bunch of new Halloween decor that I will show you in this video. Unfortunately, I did not get to do a haul. It's been a long month. I wanna go ahead and show you guys how I decorated. And also, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, I will put that below. Make sure you follow me over there. I'm a little more frequent over there right now because it's a little easier to get things on Instagram quickly than it is on YouTube. But just a quick recap, my daughter started kindergarten and has been sick on and off for the last like two months and other stuff has been going on. So again, I apologize this video took so long, but I still wanted to show it to you guys because I am super excited that it's Halloween and for a lot of my new decor. And also don't forget to like this video if you like it and to subscribe if you're not. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started in the living room. I'm going to get started with the fireplace first as usual. I had to get really far back so you guys could see the whole view because of the bats. And I also have this really cute spooky pink Halloween ambience on my TV. I thought that was a nice little touch. But back to the fireplace, I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see exactly what I did. It looks a little different than last year, so I'm super excited. Starting over on this side, they're actually the same on both sides, but I wanted to tell you guys where I got everything. So I got these really pretty pink jack-o'-lanterns. They do light up. I got them from TJ Maxx online this year. I did link them over on Instagram when I found them, and I know a bunch of you were able to get them. They are just so, so pretty, and I will show you later in the video how everything in the house looks lit up at night because I just love it. It just looks so pretty at night too, but... I just love those pink stems on top, so adorable. And I did see them in the store recently. So if you missed out on them online, you might still be able to find them in the store. Then next to that, I got these really cute light up ghosts. I did get these from the Marshalls website and I added the bow. I got these little bows from Target. They were in the kids section. They're actually hair clips and they were on clearance. So they were like a dollar each. I thought that was a really good deal, but I just wanted to add a little cuteness to the ghosts. Next to that, I just have these candles. They are from Target Bullseye's Playground a few years back, but they did still have them this year. I don't know if they still have Halloween out. I see a lot of Christmas now, but they are super adorable. And then in the middle, I just have this ghost picture. I got this last year. I think I got it off of Etsy, but it's really cute and... I just love it. My theme this year, you will already notice, is pink and ghosts and black and white. And then the other side is the same. Then there are the bats. They are so pretty. I love putting bats above the fireplace, but they are the sparkly ones. See, they, they're glittery. I got those off of which website? Marshalls, I think. I got them last year, but they still had them this year. And they also have some really pretty black sparkly butterflies. I didn't get them when they first released, but now they're on the website on sale. So anything I can link, I will link below in the description box for you. And then here is the garland that I got this year. I got this from Home Goods. It is so cute. And I did get the matching ornaments too, but they're so adorable. The pink ghost is of course my favorite. And then they have this pink and white pumpkin and then the little skull, so adorable. And then I just put some sparkly spiders to hide the little command hooks. Then this is how the bottom looks. So a couple of new things this year. I did get that really pretty pink ghost basket from Home Goods this year. And then the cute little ghost is from Home Goods as well. It says boo, super adorable. The spooky sign, I got that from Joann's last year. Then the jack-o'-lantern, it is actually like a, a planter. And I got that from Home Goods. Was it Home Goods or Marshalls? A few years back. I think I saw them this year, but they're actually like a wooden color. And I painted it white. And then I just put some uh, false pink roses in there. Next to that, I just have this little pillow set up. So the uh, one that says like ghosts and goblins, spooks galore, all the words on there. That one was from Target Bullseye's Playground a few years back. So was the boo one. The ghost is from Home Goods this year. And then the trick or treat one is from Target this year in the Bullseye's Playground. And then just next to it, I have the Bath and Body Works uh, Haunted House Wallflower plug-in from, I think it was last year or it was the year before. I got it on the website, but 
It has pink bats coming out of the top, super cute. And in case you're wondering what scent I have plugged in there right now, it is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. That is my favorite one for Halloween time. Anytime I smell that, it just, I love it. It reminds me of October. Then moving on to the other side of the living room. Let me see if I can get the light to work with me. So yes, if you are new, I do have my Christmas tree up. I like to put my tree up like around August, the end of August, beginning of September, and then I decorate it for the different seasons. It's just kind of fun and festive to do that. Getting closer, this bow, I got this from Hobby Lobby this year. It is in the Christmas section and it was super affordable. I think it was like five bucks and it's probably like half off by now because their Christmas is on sale. Then I just have those matching ornaments like the garland on the fireplace some blush ball ornaments those are from uh, the at home store i got them a few years ago and then the black sparkly balls those are from uh, hobby lobby last year and then just that's kind of how the whole tree looks with all the different little ornaments and i did find some of these other ornaments they match the other ones but they're just white ghosts so they have the one with the bow and then let's see there's another one just like this little blushing ghost and let's find the other ones there's two more styles where are they there are oh here's no that's the blushing that's a different one i think that's another blushing one with eyelashes and then the little guy with the goatee so i was super excited to find halloween ornaments it was so hard to find them a few years back so i was happy about that and then back here I have my, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus sign. Now this was from originally, I think it was Michael's or Joanne's, I can't remember, but I painted it pink. So all of the pink on it used to be orange and I painted it pink to match the rest of my decor. Next to the tree on the little end table, that is how the whole thing looks. So over here, I kind of made this little arrangement. So the vase is from Michael's, I got that last year that little bow with the ghosts on it that was actually part of i ordered something off of macari and they or was it ebay i think it was ebay and they sent that little bow with it so cute so i just put that on the vase and then the sparkly pink branches i got those from the at home store this year and they're actually in the christmas section they're kind of clip on ornaments or whatever you want to clip them onto, but I decided to use them kind of like a spooky floral arrangement, so I thought that was perfect for Halloween. Next to that, I have the pink typewriter from Michaels this year. Next to that, I have the Bath & Body Works skull candle holder that came out this year. It's so pretty, it lights up and it has glitter everywhere. I will show you that later when I light everything up. And on top of that, I have this little pink jack-o'-lantern that lights up. It was in a set of three that I found at TJ Maxx. Those are super pretty and I have them spread out all around the house. And then on the bottom I have this wooden book of spells book stack. I got that from Home Goods a few years ago and then I just put a pink ribbon on it. And moving on to the other side, real quick, there is Bella. She's resting. You guys, she just turned 16 on the 18th of October. She is doing so good. She had her annual vet checkup the day before her birthday and the doctor said she's doing great. Her blood work looked good, so she is relaxing. You gonna say hi, Bella? She's like, nope, I'm relaxing. And Twizzler is actually over here. There's Twizzler. What's up, Tweez? You wanna say hi to the camera? She's resting too. She's like, why did you wake me up? but she's doing good as well. She is 10 years old now, but she's doing really good too. You wanna wag your tail? You wanna say hi? You wanna wag your tail? No? You wanna go back to sleep? Okay, I'll leave you alone. So this is a full view of the other end table. I had to get way back so you could see everything I did, but let me get closer here so you can see right here. So I have my Ray Dunn popcorn bucket with the plush Freddy and Jason dog. They're actually dog toys. I found them at TJ Maxx last year, but they're so adorable. I think it just goes good with the sign that says let's cuddle and watch horror movies. Looks like they're cuddling, but that sign, I got that from Etsy. One of my friends, um, she, has, she had an Etsy shop. She doesn't really do it anymore, but I got that a few years ago. And another one of those little pink light up jack-o'-lanterns. And then this really cute iridescent ghost. I found that at Home Goods this year. And then just my usual lamp that's on this side. I found that at Home Goods. I want to say what 
beginning of the year. It was like during Valentine's Day, I think. And then above that, I have this black cat picture. I got that from Kirkland's last year. And up on the shelf, I just have a few little things. So that book, Gilbert the Ghost, I got that from Amazon last year. The pink spooky sign, I got that from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls last year. And they still actually have those available. And then this little ghost is from TJ Maxx this year. And this is how I have the chest set up. I just have a black happy Halloween pillow. I got that a couple years back from Home Goods. This cute little pink bat pillow. How adorable is this? Oh, I love it so much. I got the purple one too, but I got that from Home Goods this year. And then I got the Happy Halloween bat blanket from Home Goods this year as well. Moving over to the little nook, this is how I have everything set up. Above it, I do have this boo sign. I got that from Michaels last year, and then I just have those little spiders there. They are actually covering up the little nails that I have in the wall for the usual sign that is up there. So that's a good trick if you are changing your signs and it's Halloween time and there's nails from your old signs put some spiders over them or something else spooky, covers them up really good. But back to down here, so I got these little tombstones from Walmart this year. They had a really cute pink and pastel Halloween collection this year and they were super affordable. The little owl is from the Target Bullseyes Playground a few years back. The tree behind there, I got that from Amazon. I'll link it below, I had that last year. It's really pretty, it lights up. And then this little ghost that's hanging from it, I got that from Etsy, I think it was last year. The Elm Street sign is from the Target Bullseyes Playground a few years back. And then I just put some bats above it. This really pretty pastel gingerbread house, this is from, did I get it from Home Goods or TJ Maxx? Uh, TJ Maxx, yes. I got it from TJ Maxx this year. I have seen it at Home Goods. It lights up, it is so pretty. They have such pretty gingerbread houses for Halloween and Christmas this year, just very adorable. Here's a little close up of what it looks like. And then next to that, I have this pink skeleton that I got from Michael's this year. And he is petting this little cat. I got the little cat from Etsy. Moving on to our entryway. So I have this little boo sign in here. I got this last year from Home Goods. And then this wreath right here. This is from Michael's. I got this last year. Over to the side on this little shelf, I got the witch and the cat from Home Goods this year. And then the sign in the middle, I put a spell on you. I got that from Target in the regular Halloween section this year. The shelf, I showed it to you guys in my last video, but I got that from Hobby Lobby and I love it so much. I replaced the Ray Dunn Home Sweet Home sign. I put this up here and I love it so much and my little witch brooms hang on there perfectly. I got them from the Target Bullseyes Playground. The little zigzaggy handle ones, those are from like two years ago. And then the ones in the middle with the straight handles, those are from this year. Over on the bench, I have this trick or treat pillow. I got that from Home Goods. I think it was last year. And then this little boo ghost, I got that from Home Goods this year. And then my little ghost blanket, I got that from Marshalls. I wanna say like, four years ago. And there is a full view of the entryway table. So I'm gonna start with the bottom, start a little bit different this time. I got that ghost pillow at Home Goods. It's part of a set. The one with the eyelashes is in a different spot in the house, but that is the one without the eyelashes. And then the Boo and Spooky pumpkin stack by Ray Dunn. I got that last year, but I did see it this year at TJ Maxx. And then that pink ghost pillow, this is actually a pillowcase, pillow cover. I got that from spoonflower.com and it is so pretty and you guys will see. I also got a duvet cover and pillowcases for my bed, so pretty. You've already seen it on Instagram if you follow me but I'm gonna show you guys my bedroom too in a little bit. And this is what the top shelf looks like. So I got this really cute witch pumpkin and it lights up so pretty. It lights up like all different colors and I got that from Home Goods this year. In the middle, I got the cute little candy corn set from Target in the regular Halloween section this year. I was so happy to find it. I had to search really hard to find it. Like somebody had buried it inside of like the fall birds and I found it. So 
super adorable. And then that pink cauldron behind it, that is from Michaels this year. And I just stuck some iridescent ornaments in there. Those are from the at-home store. Above that, I have this trick-or-treat sign. I got that from Walmart this year. And then the Witch Way to the Candy Pumpkin, I got that from Home Goods this year. And then on my usual sign, I just put some bats on there. I didn't have something Halloween really that I loved anymore to put there. So I just kept it the same and put some bats. But I thought it was perfect because it's like a door and you trick or treat at doors. So it kind of matches the theme down there. So I thought that was pretty good. And this is how I have our hallway bathroom decorated. I found this really pretty pink shower curtain on Amazon. I will link it below if you're looking for one. It is just so adorable and it was really inexpensive. I think it was less than $20. And the shelves, this is the little setup I have. So that pink ghost is from Home Goods this year. And then I just have one of those pink rose arrangements. I got those from Home Goods either last year or earlier this year. And then this cute little pink Hey Boo candle that is from Home Goods as well. This little soap bottle, I got this from Home Goods. Was it Home Goods or TJ Maxx Marshalls? One of those. I think it was TJ Maxx, but so adorable and pink. Of course, it matched the whole pink theme. And then over on the other side, this is a little display I have on the sink. So this stand is from the Target Bullseyes Playground earlier in the year. The spooky season sign is from Etsy. The little ghost, I got that from, I cannot remember where that's from. I've had that for a really long time. If you hear clanking, that is Bella. She is coming from <laughs> the living room. And then that pink ghost candle, that is from Home Goods this year. And then the spooky tree, that one is from Hobby Lobby years and years ago when they used to do Halloween. I think they stopped doing Halloween like two or three years ago, but that's where I got that one. And here is a view in our master bedroom, how I decorated. So this year, what's new is I did decorate our bed, which I've been wanting to do for a while, but I haven't really found like the perfect bedspread that I liked. So I got this one. This is from spoonflower.com, like that pillow cover in the entryway, but it is just so pretty guys. It's got ghosts and bats, just so cute. And then that big pink ghost pillow in the middle, I got that from Home Goods. And the two little white ghosts, those are from Target this year. So, so cute. And then I did decorate our little pink Christmas tree for Halloween this year. The bow on the top, that is from Hobby Lobby. I did get that last year, but they do currently have that. And then I just have some more of those cute little cookie ghost ornaments like I have in the living room. I put all of the white ones in here on the tree and then some iridescent ball ornaments. I got those from the at-home store. Over on the end tables, they're both pretty much set up the same. I just have two different style candles on there. But that ghost sign in the back, I got that from the Target Bullseyes Playground this year. The tree, that is from Target Bullseyes Playground either last year or the year before. The cute iridescent pumpkin, I got that from Home Goods this year. And then the bat candle, how cute is that? That's from Home Goods this year. And like I said, the other side is pretty much exactly the same. It's just a different candle. I got that from Home Goods this year as well. And then just over on my little pink chair, I just have some Halloween throw pillows. Those are from the Target Bullseyes Playground over the years. And this pink chair, I got this from Home Goods, I want to say like four or five years ago. Here's the bottom of it. Hazel, you saying hello? Yes, I got that from Home Goods. It looks like that. And then the back is just like, looks like that. But that's how I have everything set up in our bedroom. I think it looks so pretty this year. And in our master bathroom, I just have a little display here on the shelf above the toilet. So I got that pretty eek sign from Walmart this year. Just some pink roses. And then the You've Been Ghosted pumpkin. That is from Bullseye's Playground last year. And then I just have this really cute colorful ghost candle that I got from Home Goods this year. Next, moving on to the kitchen, here is a full look at how it is decorated. And it's a little bit different than last year. Starting with the pantry door, this is how I have the wreath set up for this year. So I actually kind of DIY this wreath. I got the black wreath part from Michaels this year. And then I glued these pumpkins on. 
these are the pumpkins from Target in the regular Halloween section. It was like in a package with pink and white and orange. And then I put this boo sign on the door in the middle. I got the boo sign from Marshalls this year. And then above I have the pink and black happy Halloween sign that I had last year. I got that from Michaels last year. And next to it, I hung this little boo oven mitt from the Target Bullseyes Playground this year. And then I put a little spider there just to hide the command hook. On this side of the oven, this is my little display. Pretty similar to last year, but I did do a couple of changes here. So I have the black Ray Dunn Boo canister that I had last year with a pink bow on it. And then this really cute garland. I got this from Etsy this year. And then I just have it all in the little cake stand from Target Bullseyes Playground years back. I've had it for a while. Next to that, I have one of those crooked branchy trees from Target Bullseyes Playground last year or the year before. And then I put these little cute eyeballs on it. That is from the same Etsy shop that I got the garland from. Super adorable. This little pink cauldron is from Walmart this year. It does light up. And then the witch's brew bottle, that is from Target Bullseyes Playground a couple years ago. That also lights up. And that is how I have the tiered tray set up. The tiered tray itself is from the Target Bullseyes Playground. I wanna say last year or the year before, I put this cute little witch hat on top. That is from the same shop that I got the little eyeballs and ghost garland from. The potion bottles are from the Target Bullseyes Playground, I wanna say two years ago. And then I just put some glitter inside of the glass ones in the back. On the bottom, that little book stack, that is from Bullseyes Playground last year, Target. And the two little potion, they're not potion bottles, but the two little bottles, those are from Target Bullseyes Playground this year. The little pink potion bottle in the back, that is from Michaels this year. That little broom is from the same Etsy shop with the witch hat and the other things. And then the little cauldron candle is from the Target Bullseyes Playground last year or the year before. Over on the oven, I have my little cauldron that I got from the at-home store last year with some iridescent ball ornaments from the at-home store as well. And I do have some lights in there so it does light up at nighttime. The spooky sign is from Marshalls this year. And then these little towels, they are from the Target Bullseyes Playground last year. Above the oven, I have the two little black Branchy reefs, those are from Target. I think it was the Bullseyes Playground a couple years ago. Then on the other side of the oven, here is just a full view of everything I have going on. I did a lot of stuff over here this year. I just love all the stuff I found, so had to find a way to display everything. But this little black cat spoon rest is from Hobby Lobby, and I think they do have it this year. I got that one last year. Then in my little crock here, I just have some Ray Dunn spatulas. I got the black and white ones last year, and then the pink one behind it, I got that one this year, and it says, Hello Pumpkin. This little magic pumpkin juice potion jar, this is from Michaels this year. The boo sign, I got that, I think, from Marshalls or TJ Maxx last year. The little pink skeleton hand is from Michaels this year. And then I have this cute Starbucks mug. It's really adorable. I think it's from either China or Japan. I bought that one off of Macari last year. And it has a little ghost inside if you can see it. And behind everything I have that marble ghost board. I got that from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods online this year. I did see it actually in store at Home Goods this year. And then behind that, I have the little um, coffin pink. It's kind of like a serving tray thing. I stacked it behind everything and that was from Michael's this year. Then I just have my usual canisters. I just put some spiders on top and I got these cute spider web measuring cups from Home Goods this year. Also, I got that bowl from Home Goods this year, super adorable. And then that little ghost that's inside, that is from the Target Bullseyes Playground. I wanna say, Four or five years ago, it's an old one, but it's so cute. And then next to that, in my pink crock, I've got the ghost spatula from the Target Bullseyes Playground this year. Just some more pink utensils in the back. I got those from Home Goods last month. That little pink ghost one that came with uh, that came with a measuring bowl. I was trying to remember where that came from. So that came with this not measuring bowl, mixing bowl from Home Goods. And then the magic spells little. Ray Dunn spatula that was part of a set that I got this year from Home Goods. The little hanging black cat that's from Bath and Body Works last year. The little cat that is from the Target Bullseyes Playground. I got it around the same time I got that ghost one. The ghost tears bottle that is from Michaels this year. 
and then one of the gumball machines from the Target Bullseyes Playground painted pink with those little skulls. Those pink skulls were from Michael's last year. And then the little ghost Bath and Body Works wallflower plug-in. I got that last year and I have sweet cinnamon pumpkin in there. And then on the sink, I hate that it turns so dark. Oh, there's little orbs. I don't know if you could see that. It was creepy for Halloween. But I got that pumpkin glass soap dispenser. I have dish soap in that. I got that from Home Goods this year. It's so pretty. And then I have this soap. It is cotton candy, but it's like the, in the bathroom. Those cute little soap bottles. I got that from uh, TJ Maxx. Over here on this side of the sink, I have my little black cat treat container. I got that from Hobby Lobby last year. It matches that spoon rest. And then the Ray Dunn Scaredy Cat Canister. I have my cat's treats and vitamins in those. And then I wanted to show you guys this. How cute. I got this little USB port charger from the Target Bullseyes Playground this year, and it was actually orange, but I painted it pink. So very, very cute. I love their themed USB port charger thingies. <laughs> and then I got this hand towel from Home Goods this year. It came in a set of three with some other pastel ones, but of course I really wanted the pink one. Next to that, this is how I have my wall mug rack set up. It's always so super dark until I get close, but that's the full view of it. On the top, I have this Hey Boo sign that I got from Marshalls this year. Then I just have some mugs. So the pink cauldron mug, that is from Amazon, and I will link it below. It is so pretty. And then the Boo Ray Dunn mug that came in a set with the stackers. And then the black cauldron mug is from Target in the regular Halloween section last year. Then the second row, the pink jack-o'-lantern mugs were from Walmart this year. And then the spooky mugs, those are part of that Ray Dunn stack. And then just my little Target ghost mug. So I have this year's, last year's, and the year before. They are so adorable. And then these little cauldrons are from Walmart this year. They are plastic. Over on the window seat, I have these pillows. So I have the Ray Dunn black boo pillow and then the little ghost pillow, the eyelash one that matches the one that's in the entryway. And that was from Home Goods. Over on the kitchen island, this is my little centerpiece for this year. So I had this candle last year, the black cat candle that is from Home Goods. And then one of those little light up jack-o'-lanterns that's part of that set. And then a little cookie jar which those cookies are not real cookies. Those are actually decor cookies. So you saw the ornaments in the bedroom. These are little display cookies. They are so cute. I love this idea. And here is a full look at what is above the cabinets. Most of it is pretty much the same as last year, but I'll just take you through it real quick so you know where everything is from. Let's zoom in and get a little closer. So the pink ghost holding the bat, that is from Home Goods this year. And then the little boo sign, I got that from Home Goods last year. And Bella is clanking to go get her water again. <laughs> and then the little ghost tray, that is from, where did I get that? Marshalls last year. The black potion bottle is one of the Target Bullseyes Playground ones. And that is from a few years back. And that pink canister, that is actually a decaled canister. And next to that, I have the Ray Dunn Happy Halloween and Trick or Treat canisters. And then that spooky one is also a decaled canister. And then in the middle, I have my bakery sign. That bakery sign, I get a lot of questions about it. That is from Hobby Lobby, but I don't think they sell it anymore. I got that like five years ago, super adorable. And then the little ghosts, those are from Home Goods last year. I have seen the little girl ghost in Home Goods this year, but I painted the ribbon on her head and then the top hat on the um, little boy ghost and the bow tie. I painted those pink, they're usually purple. Next to that, these are all decaled canisters. So I decaled Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, and Boo on some of the pink canisters. Next to that, I have the Let's Make Magic sign with the little potion bottles and pastel colors. That is from Michael's this year. Michael's had a really cute pastel collection this year if you guys hadn't seen it. And then that little bat is from the Target Bullseyes Playground a few years back. And then over on the other side, this is the same as last year, but I have the Ray Dunn Scaredy Cat Beware canisters, and then the Don't Be a Scaredy Cat mug with the little black cat, which they sell those at Michael's. Over on the kitchen table, this is the centerpiece that I pretty much have every single year. I just love it so much. So the white jack-o'-lantern and the white ghost, those are from the Target Dollar Spot many years ago. They do light up 
like different colors. They're so pretty. And then the little tombstones, also from the Target Bullseye's Playground many years ago. The spooky sign, that is from the Target regular section for Halloween. I got that many years ago as well. And then you guys, look at my pumpkin, not the pumpkin, but the pumpkin skeleton from Target this year, and I painted it. So I spray painted it pink. And then I made the eyes and the nose and the mouth really glittery. So that is what it looks like. I think it turned out so pretty. I love it so much. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do a good job like redoing it, but I did. And it just sits here at the kitchen table. So really, really super cute, matches all the decor. Okay guys, so here is my mug collection, cup collection, all the new stuff that I got for this Halloween. So I did want to show you this plate. I have, I got two of them. So this is the pink spiderweb plate that I got from Michaels this year. They are so, so pretty. I wanted to find more, but I only found two. So I'm grateful for that, but I would love to have more if they come back out with them. And then I got these really cute ghost bowls. They're melamine. They're from Home Goods this year. They came in a set of four, really adorable. And let me show you this tumbler I got. Oh my goodness, how pretty is this? I got this from Etsy. It was one of my birthday presents. My dad always sends me some money to get my present. So I got this for myself and it's so cute. It's the ghost face mug. It says, no, you hang up. And it's actually really pretty. It's like a glittery tumbler. Let's see if I can get the, ah. Can't shake it hard enough with one hand, but let me try my other hand. But it's one of the glitter snow globe tumblers. It's so, so pretty, but it might take a while, but you get the point. The glitter all comes down into the tumbler. It's so adorable. And here is the, if I can get it to focus. It's not letting me really. It says handcrafted by Iris, really cute. Uh, got that on Etsy. And then this cute tumbler, I actually won this in a giveaway from Charla's Beauty Room. So pretty, it's the pink tumbler and she added ghosts on there for Halloween. So, so pretty, thank you so much for that. If you're watching, and then this other tumbler I got, the pink ghost tumbler that everybody was wanting this year if you're into pink Halloween or pink stuff. This one is from, where did I get this? Marshalls. And then I have a bunch of mugs from this brand. So the brand is Cobwebs and Cauldrons. They came out with such pretty mugs this year if you are a pink girl. So the first one I got was the Hocus Pocus mug. So pretty. That one I think was from TJ Maxx. I wound up buying this one off Macari because I really wanted it. And then the Hello My Pretties mug, I got this from Home Goods this year, also the same brand. I'll just stick with that brand for now. I've got a lot of them. The I Put a Spell on You one, I think this one was TJ Maxx as well. Did get this one off Macari too. Also from that brand, the Good Witch, and it also comes, it comes in a set. I only wanted the pink Good Witch one, but the other one is a black one and it says Bad Witch in pink writing, but like I said, I only wanted the pink one. This is from TJ Maxx, also the same brand. And behind those, I have the pink Hello Kitty Halloween mug. I found this one at Home Goods. They also had them at TJ Maxx. Back here, I have this really pretty black ghost mug. It says boo right there on the inside, but the ghosts are black and they fade into pink too on some of them. So pretty. I found this one at, I believe it was Home Goods this year. I'm gonna save the Ray Dunn ones for last. This next one is from Marshalls. It is white with the pink witch on there and it says basic witch on the inside. I just thought that was funny. So like I said, this one is from Marshalls this year and the brand on this one is Market Finds. Then this mug, so cute. So this is from Walmart, but I guess Walmart has a kind of bullseye's playground type section like Target now where they have things for that range from like one to five to ten dollars but this one was from that section in walmart so so pretty then this little white ghost mug i got this one from marshall's moving on to the ray dunn mugs i have this happy halloween mug and it's got the watercolor jack-o-lanterns on the front and white inside so pretty the next one i found is this ghosted mug i thought it was just so cute and funny it's black inside 
and then the back has a little ghost on it. The next one I found was this Feeling Spooky mug. I found this at Home Goods this year and it's got a little cat on the back. I just thought that was so cute. The next one I have is this Pumpkin Queen mug with the little watercolor jack-o'-lanterns and it's orange inside. It's plain on the back. My friend Paige found this for me. I was on the hunt for this one. I think she found it at Home Goods, but I had to have this one. The next one I have is the Jeepers Creepers mug with the black inside, and then it's got a cat on the back. So cute. I found this one at Home Goods this year. So pretty. I wanted this one last year, but I could not find it, but I was excited to find it this year. I don't know why I took this one out, but this is the Iridescent Spooky mug. I got this last year. I just guess I took it out by accident. I'm just trying to show you guys my new mugs from this year, but I love the back of it. That's so cute. And I love the iridescent mugs. I know not a lot of people are fans of the iridescent line from Ray Dunn, but I really like it. And I almost forgot about these back here. So I found some iridescent skull mugs this year. These are both from Home Goods, but I did find the pink one. It is so funny. I was in the line at Home Goods for like, oh my gosh, 15, 20 minutes to check out. And then on the side, they had a tank sitting there and I saw like the the back of this and I wasn't sure what it was so I didn't want to leave the line to go look but then when I was done with the line I went and looked and of course it was this so I had to get back in line waited another like 10 minutes but it's all good and then I found the just white iridescent one so yes guys that is my mug and tumbler and plate bowl collection for this year I found a lot of cute stuff and they just had so much cute pink Halloween stuff this year so if you found some of this stuff, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear if you have any of the same pieces that I found. And here is what the coffee bar looks like. So it is a bit different from last year. I changed things out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So my usual coffee bar sign is there. I got that from Etsy. And then the little ghost garland, I got that from Etsy last year. These are all new mugs for this year. So last year I had some black and white Ray Dunn mugs there. I decided to change those out. So the Hey Boo mug is from, where was that one from? I got that from Marshalls. This little ghost one with the heart mouth. I have two of those. Those are from Walmart this year. Sweet and spooky. I believe that was from TJ Maxx. I wound up buying it on Macari because I really wanted it and I could not find it. And then the fabulous one that is from where was that one from Marshall's? Yeah, that one's from Marshall's this year. I love all the pink Halloween mugs that came out this year. There is the top of the coffee bar. So on my coffee machine, I have the Ray Dunn Witch's Brew mug and the little cat from Bath and Body Works last year. And Hazel, are you just gonna talk the whole time? Yeah, she's very vocal. <laughs> And then on my little heart canister, you guys have been asking where that's from. So that is from Home Goods, and it's actually a pet treat canister. So this one will probably be found in the pet section if you're looking for it. And I just turned it around and used it as a coffee pod canister because it matches my decor. But this little garland that is from Walmart this year. And then I got the iridescent gumball canister from the Target Bullseyes Playground this year. And I just filled it up with some ghost peeps thought that was cute and then the little pink witch hat that is from Michaels this year I have these little treat cups here these I got from home goods this year the little pink cake stand that is from Target Bullseye's playground many years back the pink jack-o-lantern it does light up that is from did I get that from Marshall's yes that is from Marshall's this year next to that the little iridescent skull that is actually a jar i got that from the target bullseyes playground this year and i put my little witch broom stir sticks in there the pink disposable coffee cups those are from tj maxx this year and then the little ghost this is actually funny story i told this last year but this is a little tiny dog toy actually it came in a set of three and i wanted it for decor so it is what it is and then the little ghost jar, I got that from Target a few years ago. And then the little straws, they're so pretty. They're pink with ghosts on them. I got that from Home Goods this year. Underneath that, I put these other fake cookies. So these cookies match my garland and ornaments in the living room. And then I put them on this really pretty pink spiderweb plate that I got from Michaels this year. Over on the tiered tray, this ghost is from, I think it was TJ Maxx but it was from last year. The bow is orange, I painted it pink. This little 
Jack -lantern, uh, lantern is from Walmart this year. Michael's also had a similar one. The pink was more of like a purplish pink. So I went with the Walmart one this year. Add scream and sugar please sign. That is from Etsy. I got that last year. And then on the bottom, I have the white Ray Dunn spooky canister. That had the ghost topper, but I just put a regular flat lid on there with a pink bow. The Ray Dunn iridescent haunted mug from last year. Another one of those cute little ghost dog toys in the mug. And then this little um, cat bat is actually called a creep and they are sold on Etsy. She has an Instagram too, so I had a creep on my little Nook display, but it's um, from Legacy Wood Designs and it's so cute. Then moving on to the shelves. So the new addition this year is the Ray Dunn spooky canister with the little ghosts on it. I was so excited to find that. I was on the hunt for the ones that were black, the black spooky and boo one, and I found them, wound up selling them because I really wanted the white one. And I walked into Marshall's, I would say like two weeks ago and found one. I was so excited about that. Halloween Queen, that is actually the Queen's Kitchen canister. I turned it around and did a decal, and then the scary mug, and then the little ghost topper. And that ghost topper is actually from the Boo mug, but I put it on the scary mug. On the middle shelf, I have this wooden Halloween sign that is from Marshall's last year. And then the pink pumpkin is from Home Goods last year, but they do have them this year. And then the iridescent ghost canister that is from Where'd I get that? Um, from Home Goods this year. So cute. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And hopefully if everything goes well, if I stay healthy, if my daughter stays healthy, I'll be filming more videos. I did pick up a bunch of cute pink Christmas decor that I can't wait to share with you guys. And I do also decorate for Thanksgiving before Christmas. So I may go ahead and do a Thanksgiving home decor tour. I did that a couple years ago, but if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments. I will film that because I like to decorate for each holiday, but this year Halloween will be staying up an extra week because it took me a long time to get everything finished up just because of everything that was going on. So thank you guys again for watching. I hope you all have a happy Halloween and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.